I am Usman Ghani. Okay, <laughs> good, good, yeah. Keep it up, okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, class will start after a few minutes at 7 p.m. sharp. What? Hello, Zubair. Gigi. Speak in English. Huh? Yes. I will try my best. उनको करा दिया सर जैन तुम यहां क्या कर रहे हो क्लास लेने आया था अच्छा क्लास में क्लास लेने आए हो हैं ग्राफिक डिजाइन में Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi. How are you, sir? Nice. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, everybody? Hello, sir. Nice. Okay. Everybody came in the class today. Okay. Uh, I have to start uh, briefing on Pakistan today, as I told you. Yes, sir. Uh, so you have to act on my instructions. And uh, sometimes I will speak quickly or fastly, and sometimes I will speak slow. But uh, it will make your habit, most probably after three or four days, you can pick me nicely. But you must be yes, keep in mind this. Today, you must regular in the class, everybody. Okay. Yeah, uh, sir, uh, sir, your voice is very low, sir. So, My voice is low? Uh, yes, sir. Is it okay? Okay. Uh, now, is it clear? Yes, sir. No, it's clear. Okay, right. Let us start a briefing on Pakistan. Uh, you have to check uh, then. You have to make, keep on silent now. Silent. Any call can disturb me. On top, uh, side button. Uh, okay, oh, okay, on top, on top. Thank you very much. First uh, topic is Pakistan. Accent fails, Pakistan. American accent, Pakistan. Pakistan. I have to write main points uh, on whiteboard. And you have to note all main points. Then I will start my briefing. First of all, definition of Pakistan. I will tell you about definition of Pakistan. Background. Importance. Problems.
prejudice. Achievement. Achievements. Number seven, suggestions. You have to note everybody, these main points. In the light of these main points, I will speak. There are seven main points in front of you regarding Pakistan. Uh, sir, please get the side, sir. Okay. Is it clear now? Did you write? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Did you note? Yes, sir. I will start uh, briefing now on Pakistan. Definition of Pakistan. That ready now. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Pakistan is Muslim country. Pakistan got independence on 14th August in 1947. Pakistan made during the holy, mo holy month of Ramadan. Qaid Yadam was founder of Pakistan. The national dress of Pakistan is Shalwar suit. The national language of Pakistan is Urdu. There are two colors of flag of Pakistan with moon and star. Green colors, green color shows Muslims are in majority in Pakistan and white color shows minorities or non-Muslims in Pakistan. The moon means prosperity and the star means success. Pakistan has four provinces. Karachi was the old capital of Pakistan. Islamabad is the latest capital of Pakistan. Dr. Ilham Iqbal is the national poet of Pakistan. He 
it is simple definition of pakistan now next point background of pakistan in the subcontinent there were two main nations hindus and muslims were two main nations in the subcontinent sir you were uh, you were about this sir already you read about this sir uh, subcontinent means very sir in uh, uh, previous vocabulary yes why not you can uh, uh, you know understand nicely uh, no problem if i write it now you can okay. vocabulary no problem also you have got benefit if i mentioned last time okay okay sir. in the subcontinent there were two main nations hindus and muslims in, muslims ruled in the subcontinent for many centuries all nations all uh, other people belong from different religions were subordinates of muslims hindus uh, and sikhs and uh, people belong from other religions were subordinates of muslims subordinates muslims ruled in subcontinent for many centuries sir which is uh, which rule uh, which means of rule sir r u l e d rule hmm uh, hukmarani yes yes oh why why you hukmarani you you can okay. just you can ask me about english word not translate okay, got it, sir. i tell you one thing is ban on urdu keep your mind this thing Muslims were rulers. Muslims were rulers in the subcontinent. Rulers. Muslims ruled in the subcontinent for many centuries. In eighteen fifty-seven, British. people came in the subcontinent and captured the subcontinent hindus cooperated with british rulers and muslims ruled their government it was machination against muslims Machination. I am not watching. It was machination against Muslims. As a result, Muslims ruled. Muslims lost their government. Muslims were very disappointed. Muslims Muslims were very hopeless at that time. Hindus cooperated with British rulers. Hindus cooperated with British British rulers, and Muslims did not cooperate with British rulers because Muslims were against the British rulers because Muslims Muslim rulers, you know, lost their government and British rulers captured 
the subcontinent captured captured in those learned oh, language sir. and muslims hated from british rulers and also hated from english language sir uh, capture meaning capture control capture means control capture sir, we, sir, we also used uh, this control word control means grip uh, okay. grip grip yeah control grip capture mean means capture means fatah karna sir oh my god <laughs> sir, you uh, uh, you uh, wrote it sir uh, in last session sir or we can be captured pata karna oh my god <laughs> i read sir there were no speaking uh, in urdu in english i don't deny that okay zubair you spoke urdu and you told me the meaning of uh, capture but please try to avoid to speak urdu in the class <laughs> Zubair. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Sorry, sir. Okay. <clears throat> It's okay. okay. At that time, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan saw this situation and observed this situation. Observe. observe this situation he wrote many books for muslims and he told to muslims that if you need progress if you want development then you have to learn english language by all means by all means so this is what by, by all means it means no way by all means mean no alternate no substitute just one way Muslims have to learn English language if they want progress or development. For this purpose, he opened Ali Gad College and Ali Gad University. I am talking about Sir Sir Syed Ahmed Khan. Yes, sir. Sir, <clears throat> sir Syed Ahmed Khan wrote many books for encouragement for Muslims. He told to yes. Muslims. and he he realized to muslims that if you can't get your basic rights since when you don't learn english language he said to muslims you hate from british rulers but you don't hate from english language for this purpose he opened aligarh college and aligarh university a large number of muslims got education from there and especially muslims learned english language from aligarh college and aligarh university then muslims got good jobs in the subcontinent and muslims 
were financially strong in the subcontinent when muslims made financially strong in the subcontinent then muslims were powerful then all pakistan muslim league made and the leaders of all pakistan muslim league were well aware or conscious about english language the leadership the leadership of all pakistan muslim league realized to british rulers why pakistan is important why why different country for muslims was important in english language muslim leaders realized to british rulers why separate muslim country is obligatory for muslims in the subcontinent on 23rd march in 1940 pakistan resolution passed and pakistan movement started by struggle pakistan got independence on 14th august in 1947 under the supervision of qaid azam as a founder of pakistan sir what is your world uh, this is world second world or first world pakistan resolution or es second world movement yes r e s o r e s o l u t i o n resolution okay. the leadership of all pakistan muslim league told to british rulers everything is quite different among hindus and muslims nothing was matching there was no sameness among muslims and hindus in anything so separate country for muslims was obligatory or compulsory it was a background of pakistan third point importance why pakistan is important for us our forefathers offered many sacrifices for dear homeland forefathers our forefathers offered many sacrifices sir, sacrifices sir space in this is world or no what word forefather uh, father no space. no space in forefathers no space no okay. space our forefathers of offered many sacrifices for pakistan so we can't ignore to pakistan as pakistani
Pakistan is very important for us. We born in Pakistan. We got early education in Pakistan. We do jobs in Pakistan. We do business in Pakistan. We have everything in Pakistan. We have our separate identity as Pakistani. We have our separate ID cards. We have our separate passports as a Pakistani. We have our separate identity in the world as a Pakistani. So Pakistan is very important for us. Identity. We have a separate identity, identity in the world as a Pakistani. So nobody can ignore to Pakistan as Pakistani. Our forefathers offered many sacrifices for us. So we can't ignore the sacrifices of our, our forefathers. Offered. Offered many sacrifices. Offered. 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 O double F E R E D. Offered means gave. Yes, sir. Next, uh, number four point problems. Pakistan is poor country. Pakistan is poor country. Pakistan is underdeveloped country. Pakistan is underdeveloped country. Pakistan has many problems. First of all, main and basic problem is illiteracy. Illiteracy is the main or major problem in Pakistan. There are also many problems. We have, I talk about education first of all. We have few schools, we have few colleges, we have few universities, we have few academies, we have few institutes in the country, especially in villages, no education facilities are, are available there. Education, uh, educational facilities are not available in the village. There is shortage of schools, colleges, universities, academies and institutes in the whole country. We have other problems, we have other problem. We have few dams in Pakistan. We are uh, facing, we are facing the problem of load shedding 
in the country we have problem of load shedding in the country load shedding load shedding we are facing the problem of load shedding in the country the problem of unemployment is also a main problem in pakistan most people are jobless in pakistan unemployment unemployment pakistan is pakistan is victim of overpopulation our population too much population in pakistan population is going on peak in pakistan we have few sources but population is too much in pakistan the law and order situation is not good in pakistan law and order no peace in pakistan most people are look busy in killing and disputes all times killing is too much in pakistan robbery is too much in pakistan crimes are very common in pakistan robbery is very common in pakistan we have health problem we have few hospitals in pakistan we have few doctors in pakistan we have not med medical facilities according to population there is shortage of facilities in pakistan in health sector in health department i told you about problem in pakistan next tragedy in pakistan tragedy is in pakistan when pakistan got independence in 1948 kaizam was died on 11 Sir, september in 1948 and pakistan lost kashmir in same year i mean to say in 1948 sir shortage meaning what happened any question uh i tell you one thing that shortage uh, meaning sir by i tell you one thing to i i want tell you to all of you that during briefing don't disturb me after okay i will give you time some time you can ask me questions on pakistan got it now okay sir. okay so tragedies i told you two tragedies ha happened in uh, okay pakistan in 1948 two tragedies uh, two tragedies took place in 1948 first
First of all, Kajiran was died on 11th September 1948, and in same year, Pakistan lost Kashmir by Indian forces. It was also Meki Nation. In 1951, first Prime Minister of Pakistan, Khan Lakhat Ali Khan, was killed at Lakhat Bagh in Dalpindi. In 1971, Pakistan broke in two parts. Pakistan lost. Pakistan lost East Pakistan. Further tragedies. I tell you one thing about further. I to, I I want to tell you about other tragedies. Uh, on 8th October in 2005, earthquake came in Pakistan, and as a result, mostly people were died. In 2014, in KPK, AP, APS by APS attack by terrorist. APS attack, uh, uh, you know, attack took place by terrorist, and mostly students were died. As a result, these were okay. In 1971, Zulkarni Bhutto was hung up in fake murder case. Fake murder case. fake murder fake murder case now i want to tell you about achievements of pakistan first of all pakistan made it is god gifted first achievement certainly it is achievement because pakistan made during the holy, holy month of ramadan certainly it is pakistan is god gifted in 1965 pakistan won the war with india instead of pakistan had very less sources instead of pakistan won the war with india armed forces pakistan armed forces defeated to indian forces in that is in 1965 and public also supported to uh, pakistan forces the war of 1965 was won uh, by passion passion In 1974, Pakistan started atomic program, and on 28th May in 1998, Pakistan announced as an atomic power by seven atomic atomic experiments at Chawi in Balochistan. Pakistan defeated to India in the field of atomic. by seven atomic uh, by seven atomic experiments on the other hand india did just five atomic experiments pakistan also defeated to india in the atomic field certainly uh, it is achievement 